afternoon, everyone. This is Dakeisha C. Williams, your virtual COO. And I am excited about Webinar Wednesday. Uh, one second. It seems like there's maybe some issues going on. Um, some people are not able to get on, but welcome everybody. Um, hello, hello, hello. This is Dakeisha Williams. Looks like we have a little, a little glitch, but we're going to be talking about whether or not, hey, Paige McKenzie, how are you? We're going to be talking about whether or not, hey, all my scopers, I love it, I love it, I love it. You guys, I tell you, Webinar Wednesday comes so freaking fast. Do you hear me? I'm like, listen, it was just Wednesday. Like what happened? <laughs> okay. Um, but I definitely am excited about being able to help you guys produce, uh, profitable webinars. So, um, I'm just going to introduce myself. I want to double check something real quick before we get started. Uh, I guess it was saying that, okay, we're good to go. I don't know. And so if you guys are joining me, no matter where you guys are joining from, please make sure that you introduce yourself. Uh, let me know who is in, okay, who's in the building. All right, so apparently, hey, I love, tell me your name, your tax advocate. You always join. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Taria. Hello, everyone. So I want to know, are you producing, um, profitable webinars now let me back up just a little bit okay so if this is the first knee knee k knee k okay so your tax advocate is knee k i have to remember that so um just to kind of give you oh get out of here i get excited y'all when people are in my backyard so yes i'm in chesterfield virginia um, all of my documents say Richmond, Virginia, but I'm actually in Chesterfield. So yes, we do need to connect. What's up? All right. So yes, this is your crazy COO, Dakeisha Williams, right? So if this is the first time that you are hearing the sound of my voice, um, what I do is I help business owners implement systems and processes. And I know that it sounds so cliche. I get it. But really, seriously, at the end of the day, I actually help operations managers and CEOs conduct or put together their SOPs. Like, I'm telling y'all, once you have them put together, it makes your business and operating business so much easier. It makes recruiting and hiring and training. It literally makes the job of being a CEO so much easier. And you can go to embracing your role as CEO and stop being a employee of your own company, which you've heard me talk about as well, okay? So that's kind of what I do. However, I've actually started to work with aspiring, hey, Felicia girl, um, I started to work with aspiring, well, aspiring six-figure earners. So they're quite not at the six figures, right? They may be four figures, may even be five figures, and might and and basically on the brink of kind of hitting that six figure point, right? So what I've done is I've developed the inner circle that helps them build the foundation, like a a foundation to actually build a successful business, okay? And so that's what the inner circle does. And if you've never heard me talk about it, I literally walk you through five pillars of building a profitable business. And we talk about, you know, prospecting. And again, this is this this covers the strategy on how to become a six figure business owner. Like this is what I do. I'm a business strategist. So not only am I helping you with the operational infrastructure, but there's also some business development and growth that goes along with it as um, as being a business strategist. OK. And with that being said, that's why it's important that we cover the five pillars. So we talk about, you know, the prospects, identifying who your target audience is and who you're speaking to to make sure that your marketing ma message matches that. And so if you are an individual who's not speaking on like large platforms, you kind of have to build your own platform, okay? 
So you have to build your own tribe. And so one of the things that I love about Russell Brunson, he says is that you have to find a thousand people who would be willing to pay you every month. So I'm on a mission to find a thousand people. I ain't quite there yet. I, I have enough, <laughs> but I'm on a mission to find my thousand people. Okay. And so should you, and that's where the plat, the platform, um, comes into play. And so for individuals that are not like speakers or things like that, one of the things that I teach you to do, oh, okay, talk to you later, sweetheart. One of the things that I teach you to do is to use webinars to build your online platform, especially if you're not speaking a lot. And just to explain to you, one of the things that I decided to do, and my anniversary is coming up really soon, so we're planning something, um, something good to give away um, August 24th, 2011, I actually turned in my pink slip for my full-time job as a district manager of 13 locations over five states. So I decided that I didn't want to travel much anymore, okay? You know, I really wanted to be in a position where I could be present for my kids. And so that's how the webinars became to play such a huge role in my organization. And I'm really near and dear about utilizing webinars and they've done great, great things for my business, okay? So thank you, I appreciate all the love, all the hearts, make sure that you share this out and um, invite some of your friends to hang out with us, okay? So I know some of you probably got a text message from me. I'm all about technology, all right? So with that being said, um, just the other pillars is um, after you de develop the platform, you have to have profitable products. Hey, Crystal, thanks for joining. And then with the profitable products, how are you delivering your content? So product deliverability. And so we have a program that's launching next month that I'll be sharing over in ProfitProducerMovement.com. ProfitProducerMovement.com that we'll be sharing to help you with the products and the portal or product deliverability piece of your company, okay? And so, and then the last piece is the people. A lot of people have a hard time building a team. So you'll see that I'll talk about building a team in your organization as well. So that's where the webinars come from. I know some people are probably watching like, you know, she talks about building a team, she talks about outsourcing, and she talks about webinars. Well, how do they all correlate to one another? Well, that's how. You're gonna build your business utilizing webinars to actually bring your tribe into one location so that they can hear the message that you have to share, okay? So that's how one relates to the other. Got it? Got it. All right, so let's talk about um, number one, so that was how webinars fit into the whole operational overhaul or the operational process, okay? So even though webinars can be used as a lead magnet, hey, Raquel, how are you? Um, webinars can be used as a lead magnet. You've heard me teach and train that when you have a webinar, you wanna make sure that you have a registration page and you're collecting information, correct? Yes, you guys know that, okay? However, here is how, there's four things that we're gonna talk about today. I think it's four. Yeah, three or four things that we're gonna talk about today to make sure that you're having a profitable webinar, okay? Now, several of you speak on several different aspects of topics from social media, from business development, from um, taxing, accounting, health, you know, wellness, financial advancement. Um, I've got several ministers that are now in our group, you know, and empowerment speakers that are asking the same questions. Can webinars help me get to the next level? If I'm an empowerment speaker, if I'm an author, um, can webinars help me get to the next level? Absolutely, and I'm gonna tell you how, okay? You guys ready? So here is how. Webinars can actually help most businesses, to be honest with you, okay? Now, here is what, here is how. So, depending on your area, and I'd love to know what you do, right? So, uh, I want you to put in the box, or even if you're watching a replay, right? Um, tell me what you do. Like, put your area of expertise. If I got social media experts, if I have business development experts, operational experts, I know, um... We had some tax experts on online on Periscope, you know, let me know exactly what you do because I like to be able to specifically speak to the people that are actually participating. 
Um, I love foreclosure phenom. Uh, you gotta, <laughs> I actually used to be a loan officer back in 2007 before the whole turnaround, all right? Hey girl. So I absolutely love what you do. We are actually looking at putting together a um, home buyer's funnels, but you know, hey, what can I say? All right, so let me focus, right? But um, social media strategist, um, cosmetology, you know, oh, that's a good one. Um, YouTube is like really huge with showing people the, the know-how. And even in the home buying process, I cannot wait to put together a sales funnel for um, individuals that are looking to buy a home. Like I'm stoked because like that, that right there is going to be my six figure funnel. Um, oh, we got a, phys a financial fitness coach, project managers. Hey, Carla, what's up, boo? <laughs> um, yes, so I, I, I get excited because, you know, mortgaging, like, that's, that's a whole nother love of mine. Anyway, y'all know I get excited and I kind of move over. So help me stay focused. But, yeah, we need to chat. Um, we definitely need to chat foreclosure phenom. All right. So listen, so here's the thing. All right, so we've got a, a variety of people participating. So I love this. I love this. I love this. So let's look at, based on your area of expertise, right? A lot of times we want to share um, information. We want to share whether it's live streams and things like that, which this platform is good because you guys get to experience, you know, my personality, who I am, who's this crazy girl that shows up every webinar Wednesday, right? Um, mortgage underwriter, loan officer, and foreclosure specialist. What's up? We need to chat. Um, but yeah, so one of the things that I want you to start doing, and I actually have the sheet in my marketing class, is once you identify who your, your audience is, who you're speaking to in your webinar, I want you to speak to the problems that they have, okay? I want you to speak to the problems that they have because that's what's going to actually get them to show up, right? And um, a lot of times, so that goes back to the point number one is share relevant information. So I know Taria's on here and Taria talks about social media strategy, right? So how do you, um, one of the things that I love that Taria talks about is having a lead generation goal. And so I never thought about having a lead generation goal. And I'm like, oh crap, like I want to build my list, right? So I want like a thousand people every month to get on my list. And I'm like, Lord, how am I going to do it, right? But, you know, that's um, info at visionsconsulting.com. Info at visionsconsulting.com is my email. I'm a human trafficking program director. Well, hello, Nicole, Lord, Jesus knows that we need you, okay? Hey, Dr. Haddon, yes, please email me. So, you know, it's very important that you share um ah it's very important that you share that info um the relevant information carla says now you got me thinking you're talking about a lead generation goal yes okay all right sweetie i'll chat with you make sure you email me thank you but yes so you know that's something that i got so the lead generation goal was something that i i received from Taria about participating on her broadcast okay Something that I never thought about, but it gives me a goal in that area. And so even when it comes to human trafficking, um, I use ClickFunnels email auto automation. So I actually use ClickFunnels, so I'm really excited about it. So yes, thank you for inviting as well. So um, just speaking to like, let's even talk about um, foreclosure phenom, right? So I'm near and dear to the mortgage industry. So if I wanted to host a webinar, it's going to be about kind of around the problems that home buyers have when they go into that space to purchase a home. And we're going to speak to kind of what the expectations are. So, you know, number two speaks to the point of offering secrets or strategies. Got you. See, that's why I like to know what exactly you guys do. <laughs> So you better tell me when your next webinar is. You know we do a webinar challenge every single month. It's the top of the month. So I challenge everyone to do one webinar uh, once a week for the next four weeks. So that's four webinars for the month of August. How are you doing, okay? So um, tip number two is to offer secrets or strategies for your area of expertise, okay? Now, um, I've heard a couple of different things about this. So I'm gonna share with you both ways. Um, Okay, so 
Way number one is you share the what and you sell the how. Have you guys heard that? You share the what and you sell the how. Hmm, right? So you talk about the what, the why, but you never give the how, right? So I've kind of heard that and I'm like, okay, I've tried that. I've done that. But you got to understand, I'm an implementer. So I'm the implementation person. So I'm going to tell you, you know, what to use, webinars. I'm going to tell you how to use them, right? I want to tell you, you need to do them every single week. I'm going to tell you, um, the, you sell the secret sauce. Yes. I'm gonna tell you, you know, what your lead time should be, right? Um, but to me, that's that's the how, right? I've even given you suggestions on platforms, but let me tell you what my secret is. My secret is I have a team that actually implements. So people pay me to actually set it up and implement. They're like, look, you want me to do a webinar? Do you know? You mean to tell me I got to write emails, I got to set up a registration page, I need a CRM, I need a thank you page, I need a sequence, an email sequence, oh hell no, Dakeisha, what's your number? What's your number? I need you to set it up. (laughs) So that's where my secret sauce comes in because my team now takes over and actually takes the heavy lifting off for you. (laughs) Y'all know I'm telling the truth. You know I'm telling the truth, right? So I sell the implementation because I am a business strategist, right? And I have a team of about eight or nine technical individuals, graphics people, all that kind of stuff, right? So I taught them how to do it, right? No doubt. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. So I I can tell a little bit of the how. I don't tell all the how. But I get paid to implement. That's where my, my area of expertise is. So you, depending on how you get paid in your business, if you get paid to implement, then you can share a little bit more of the how, right? A little bit more of the secret sauce than what some other people may agree with. Some people say, you, you give it away too much. You give it away too much. Well, I disagree because I sell the actual work, right? We'll get it done for you. It's called get it done for you. And we'll talk about that, right? And so, um... Based on your line of work, it depends on how much information you can sell on your platform um, or you can share on your webinar, okay? So, um, number three, and here's the biggest, ah, see, you get paid to implement too. You know what I'm talking about. So, number three is, here's what I want to know. Are you offering a product at the end of your broadcast or your webinar? And some people feel that it's kind of like, you know, oh, you just doing this to sell something, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, um, you're going to pay for information. People will, people pay for information. That's just the day of the market right now. Like, that's the way of the world right now. We pay for information. Let me tell you, I can't express to you how many things I paid for in the last 90 days just to get some knowledge, Okay. And and I teach my team Thursday, which is tomorrow. Thursday is the day that we focus on learning. So I have webinar Wednesday, but Thursday, I'm somewhere on somebody else's webinar. I've invested in programs. I'm watching videos and I'm implementing. But that's how I continue to grow in my area of expertise and in my business. So people are going to pay you for the information and the knowledge that you have. Yeah, I invest in myself. You have to. And so, you know, people... People, you have to train people to invest in you for your level of expertise and your level of knowledge. I mean, some of you guys have been in in this game for 15, 20 years. You should get paid for what you know. Why not? You got bills to pay. What? Okay. Free ain't going to pay my rent or free ain't going to pay my mortgage. Let me say that. So, yes, you have to invest in yourself. Learning is critical. And so they are learning. Just as well as you invest in yourself, people will invest in you. And there is nothing that you should be ashamed of. Let me say that again. There is nothing that you should be ashamed of because you offer the services or products to people who actually have a problem that you solve. Listen, there is absolutely nothing I feel bad when somebody calls me and say, hey, I need you to help me. Get my operations in check. My operational system is jack. Help me. No problem. I got you. Okay. And so you should feel the same way when you are doing your web your weekly webinars. I want you to type that weekly 
webinars and you should feel the same way you should be should feel very confident in offering your services or your products so we're going to talk about that so if you're not offering a product at the end of your broadcast i want you to type a one if you are watching the yes weekly webinars if you're watching the replay i also want you to go over to profit producers movement and I want you to comment below the video there, the training there as well, because if you're not offering products, uh, we need to have a conversation. We need to put together some products for you so that you can make some passive income. And that's like a whole nother training on how you put your passive income on automation. And that's critical, right? Because a lot of times we put all of our eggs in one basket and I've done it. You know, I've got all these high tier clients that are paying with commas, but then I get some 497 sales, 397, 47, 104, all different, I have like three sales funnels, right? And so that passive income is like, woohoo! PayPal gets a ring and I get excited. My kids even know, Ma, you got money? Um, so yeah, so that's just, you know, I get excited. So if you don't have, you know, products, I need you to, you know, comment below. I admit, I'm not doing webinars because I'm thinking about creating products. Don't y'all be laughing at me. Um, all right, Carla, stop. We got to kind of Carla, you wanted my webinar. Um, you, you participated in the webinar class as well. So um, maybe we need to have a conversation because in September, I don't usually do this. And is that Deronda? Hey, girl, um, we're actually launching a product development um, program in September and I'm going to post the information. I've been I've been going back and forth and back and forth about it. So, hey, sweetie. So I'm actually, yes, we are doing a product development because it's a problem that, you know, a lot of people are having, like I said, speakers, authors, empowerment coaches, you know, they want to get paid outside of just speaking. And so they want to be able to have products, whether it's digital products in their, in their business. So we're going to offer a class and we're going to open enrollment very, very soon. So I'll post the information. So you guys, Jessie, hey, sweetie. So I'm so glad that you guys could join. Like this is exciting, kind of a lunch and learn like I used to do back in 2013, right? All right, so let's talk a little bit about products and I will let you go, okay? So um, there's four type of products, well three, really three or four type of products. Hello, Swirly, who is that? <laughs> um, so there's a couple of the products that you can have, right? Um, great, I think Taria posted product diversity and have products that generate passive income. Hey, Nicole Lee, I'm not doing webinars and I know that I should because I'm considered an expert. Yeah, yes, you should, absolutely. Um, your area is very, 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 very important um, for our teenage girls. Um, so today we are talking about making sure that you have profitable webinars in your business. So if you need to reach out to me, you can um, email me at info at visionsconsulting.com or you can hang out with me in the in the Profit Producers Lounge, Profit Producers, Profit Producer Movement.com. So hey Barrett. Um, so yeah. And all right, so let's talk a little bit about some products that you can have, and then we're gonna close out. So some people like to have digital products, meaning that when I purchase from your site or I click on the link, I can actually download the product, whether it's an audio where I'm listening or it's a video where I'm watching, okay? So you've got digital products. So I want you to type digital products. That's number one, okay? Number two, you can have physical products. You see a lot of speakers, when they're speaking, they're selling from the back of the room and they're selling physical products. So it's like DVD sets, CDs, um, books, and things of that nature. So that's number two. You can actually sell physical products. So number one is digital products. Number two is physical products, okay? Number three is actually coaching programs. And I don't typically do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore. I did when I started back in 2012-ish consulting. However, you can do group, uh, group coaching program. Awesome, thank you. Um, you can do group coaching program. Those are really good. Um, I've done the webinar success blueprint as a group coaching program. It was about 12 weeks where I took them through and actually help them put together their first webinar. Um, so that was a group program. It's now automated. I don't teach it live anymore. <laughs> so it's an automated program. So I turned a group program into an actual digital product. Get it? Got it? What they say? Good. 
Um, and then the last one is implementation. So you get paid for implementation, but it's a product. So you want to have a variety of diversity of product um, or ways to work with your um, client base. Okay. So I repeat that again, and there we'll kind of recap. So um, here are the different type of products that you can have and offer. Wait, look at you. Love it. Thank you. Now I ain't got to look at my notes. Number one, digital products. Number two, physical products. Number three, coaching programs. And number four, get paid to do the work. Get the ish done is what I like to call it. Okay. So that's where you need to have. And hey, Charlene, if you do not have those actual um, product diversity in your organization, I want you to type a one because yes, myself and my team, we're going to reach out to you and let you know about the upcoming product development one-on-one that we're launching next month. Okay. Really excited about it. Yes. Books are great too. I'm actually working on my first book. So y'all pray for me. Keep you in prayers. Cause your girl, your girl's trying to get this book done. All right. Long overdue. Pray for me. Um, so those are the four, you know, four main products that I want you to have in your business at the end of the day, no matter what your area of expertise is. Okay. So make sure that you sell, you're sharing relevant content. Um, gotcha, Nicole coming for you, sister. Um, I know. Thank you. Um, all right, Raquel, I'm coming for you. Um, number two, Making sure that you, when you talk about your relevant content, make sure that you speak to the problems that they have, okay? And we're going to talk about that as well, and I'll help you with that. That's not a problem. Um, and then, you know, I want to make sure that you're developing a product. So we're going to develop some products in September. We, we need to get you guys making some money and inserting these products into sales sequences. You've hear, you, hear, you, are, you hear them call, Laura, can you talk? I get so excited. You hear them call funnels, but I like to say sequence. And here's why I'm going to do it, probably do a training on it. Deronda has asked me to do a training on it. But um, when you hear about funnels, right, they always say that the funnel, I always think about when I had a leakage in, in, in um, tra- is it power steering fluid and I needed a funnel. So the funnel goes in and it goes down, right? So they always say that the client comes in and then they go down. Well, I don't really like that. Like, I want my clients to go through a sequence of activities until they actually hit the buy button, okay? So a sequence of activities until they actually hit the buy button. So a sequence, whether it's an email sequence, a webinar sequence, right? So notice that that like this, right? So once you go into a sequence, you're not going down. You're actually continuing. And once a buyer, always a buyer. So if you become a client of mine, I always want you to work with me, right? And that's how you should operate your business. So... See, I like that better, right? Everybody do like this with me. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Um, but yeah, so making sure that you have a sequence in place that you're selling your product and not a funnel where they're just dropping off. And a lot of times that's how we lose we lose uh, and leave money on the table is because we have a funnel set up. And that's what we're thinking. We're thinking funnel. Okay, I want them to come in. I want them to do this. No. What we're going to do, we're going to get us a sales sequence, y'all, sales sequence. All right, so listen, I have thoroughly enjoyed this training today over in ProfitProducerMovement.com, and I'll be reaching out to you guys that said that you want help, okay? And we're going to have a conversation, and, and, it's, and, and it's just as simple as that. We Listen, we're going to end out the year with a bang. I'm already planning what we're doing in 2018. So super excited. So this is your virtual COO, the Chief Operations Officer, number one virtual COO in the country, okay? Uh, this is what I've been doing for 22 years, and I absolutely love helping you guys get to the next level. So again, make sure that you follow me on the different social media platforms, and um, make sure you join the group if you are not in the group. And if you're watching the replay, let me know, okay? Tag me because I always stay in the conversation. So I'm going to sign off. Appreciate you hanging out with me for a little bit. Love you all and all of my Inner Circle Profit Producer members. All right, so I'm out of here because I got a 1 o'clock appointment with another sequence client. All right? <laughs> Y'all have a fantastic day. And always remember to be what? Be profitable. Take care.